How long has that Burger King been there? That's gonna be bad for my waistline. But the Oreo shake looks so good. Ugh, it's so cold. Huh. Did I leave the stove on? Čau Václavě, jak na čundru? Ale dobrý, akorát večer už byla zima. Vypěla si někam do teplejší krajiny. Takže moc velká zima. Damn cables out again. God, I need an adventure. Wait. I can call Slim. Yo man, what's up? Good job. You still in Tunisia? Of course bro, I live here. What do you think? Right, of course. Yo, let's go camp in the Sahara. In the Sahara? But there is a lot more places to visit, bro. Not only the Sahara. Yeah, man, I mean, whatever, that's, like, that's totally fine. I just, I feel like I gotta get out of here, dude. I need to do something crazy. Uh, that's not gonna be easy, but we, we still can do it. We'll make it happen, bro. Sick, man. Honestly, I can't even tell you how much this means to me. Like, I can't wait to see you, man, and we're gonna go on all the adventures. We're gonna do amazing things, dude. It's gonna be so much fun. Oh, man, I appreciate it. it was so much. Okay, 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 okay. People, listen, I really have to go right now, like... Awesome, man. That sounds great. I'm on my way. I'm gonna be there as soon as possible. All right, bro. See you soon. All right, dude. Peace. Peace, bro. Ciao. Good job! Oh, What's up, brother? What's doing here? It's warm here, bro. Of course it is. It's Tunisia. Well, <laughs> actually, we got here four days ago. But it's been a crazy trip. And boy, do we have some stories for you. A lot of fun. It was a really funny day. <laughs> Welcome to home base and meet the Slim Mobile, a beast of a South Korean truck which somehow made its way into Tunisia and would be our home for the next week. So we headed out from Sfax going west, deep into the country, leaving behind the beautiful paved roads surrounded by groves of olive trees in search of the desert dunes. Did he say to go straight? Yeah, uh, like now 40 minutes to get to Spika. We go to Spika and we ask in the city, okay? Okay. It would be like, uh, uh, not like this road, you know, it would be better. Because this is a nightmare, right? Nah, now. it's okay. Exciting, huh, Slim? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're at a tourist checkpoint right now. Very strict about everybody coming in and out of the country. I think a lot of it has to do with Azerbaijan. <clears throat> oh wait, Algeria. Oh man. Yeah, now I'm 
begin this. Can we do it? Of course we can. هذا اللي بسر شو ما بسر سر no seriously do you think that you can take something like that in another country no Tunisia, mind absolutely blown. I would never expect to find this here. It's amazing. On the road again. several complications but we're gonna make it to the camping site we're gonna make it <laughs> yeah. this is it we made it to the Sahara it's time to get camping no I'm just kidding we're actually somewhere in Tor Tor now God I, I suck with things <laughs> Tuz Tuzur. and yeah. uh, it's a pretty rough looking little parking lot. At least we got to practice setting up the tent. So uh, we didn't really communicate much about the trip or the plan. Mm -hmm. Because I thought today would be the dunes. The dunes will be tomorrow, bro. The dunes will be tomorrow. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, bro. <laughs> And so with Tuzur behind us, we set out to cross the largest lake in Tunisia and head for the old city of Duz, our gateway to the Sahara. This is the lake? It doesn't yeah. look like a lake, son. It's not as a lake, like the water. It's the Sahara, it's the desert. <laughs> But the sand settled and the fog cleared. And at the end of the road was Dews, where we found a surprisingly warm welcome. And shortly after that, just beyond the city, the Sahara. And it was here that I had a brilliant idea. I said, Slim, let's get a really cool shot. Drive your car over the dunes, it's gonna look awesome. Oh, oh no. Complications in the shot. Not a good idea. Do we have a shovel? It'll be okay, we got four wheel drive. Do 
with the floor mats. Yeah. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a lot of them. You can always count on the locals. How do you feel about this, Lorna? of the current situation and the fact that it's just started or it's about to start to rain I'll just go ahead and say this weather the wind the sand definitely not conducive to camping unless we want to wake up like sand balls then suddenly an entire tour group came to help push <laughs> But this man and his magnificent shovel would not. And though I had to stop filming so that I could help push, we got out. <laughs> we got it. Shukran. <laughs> uh, we are going to follow him. He's, uh, he's going to, in the heart of the desert. Okay. <laughs> Letting him, letting him politely know that we're out. We gotta save our asses. Too much. Too much crazy. Tunisia always has and always will be in a constant battle against the desert with irrigation, vegetation, wildlife. And today we got to see a little bit of that battle for ourselves, which I think makes it very obvious that camping in the Sahara as I imagined it is not going to be possible. I think if we tried to stay, it would have been like torture. At least we have great footage. It's true. And you know what? We did get to see the Sahara and so much of Tunisia. It's food, nature, amazing people. And for that, Slim, I'm really grateful because you know what? At the end of the day, it's not about setting out to recreate somebody else's adventure. It's about setting out to check off that box process <laughs> creating your own